Well, tonight we're hearing from the family of an injured state trooper. Lance Corporal Zachary Reichard is recovering in the hospital this weekend after colliding with a truck last Monday. News 19's Nate Stanley spoke with his wife today about his condition. I ended up answering it and all I heard was this is Captain and I, after that it went blurry. It's a call Madison Reichard has feared for years, one that her husband Lance Corporal Zachary Reichard was injured while on duty. It was definitely my worst nightmare. According to the Lexington County Sheriff's Department, Reichard, who was driving a highway patrol motorcycle, collided with a privately owned truck. Reichard was then sent to the Prisma Hospital in Richland. There's two, two, two troopers outside and I walk in the door with them and they take me up there and just lined up down the hallway it is just troopers. Reichard says her husband injured his legs but miraculously survived the ordeal avoiding any serious injuries to his neck or spine. He was pretty messed up and I took a glance at his legs and it wasn't good. So they were able to um, put external fixation on his legs because his femurs are pretty messed up. She posted online about her husband's condition and the crash and says she's received support from over 30 different states. Serve and Connect, a law enforcement support agency, started a fundraiser for the Rikers and as of Sunday raised over $10,000 for bills, therapy, and other expenses. Such a blessing what those people are doing behind the scenes that a lot of people don't even know about. They're able to help communities and law enforcement get together because together we are better. Reichert explains there's a long road to recovery, but is focusing on her and her husband's faith in God for strength. The future is very bright. He's still alive. I'm bedside, not graveside, so I have a lot to be thankful for. I think that this right here will be a good testimony of his faith because he has clung to the Lord and realize that, hey, I will get through this. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. The Sheriff's Department says the driver of the truck did not have any injuries. This collision is still under investigation.